What's good YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna go ahead and jump into the Logic Remote app for iPhone and iPad. If you have an iPhone or iPad, definitely go download the, uh, the Logic Remote app, it's free. It's tightly integrated with Logic and it will change the way you work with Logic. It definitely has for myself. This is the iPad Pro along with the Apple Pencil and this is how I like to mix now. If I go over to my mixer, go ahead and play. This is how I like to work now. It's just a different approach to mixing. It's more tactile, it's right in front of you. And uh, with the pencil too, I could just sort of sit back on a couch even because this is wirelessly connected to Logic in my computer. I could just sit back, relax, and just mix like that. I can also record beats using the Logic Remote as well. So with that said, let's go ahead and do a quick breakdown of this app. Along the top, you have your transport controls. If you hit the settings button right over here, you can go ahead and control the global uh, settings in your session. So the tap tempo, you can set the tempo manually. You got your time signature, your key signature, all of that good stuff. Right over here is your remix effects. So if I click that, it'll automatically pull up a remix effects plugin in my session on the master fader. And then I could go ahead and use this as a touch tool to sort of automate these effects. Also, with the iPhone or iPad, you could go ahead and use the gyroscope built in, the built in gyroscope, and move the iPad in a way that controls whatever parameter you have set. So definitely really cool. Once again, it gives you a different approach to making music. You can go ahead and load in instruments if you like as well uh, through this browser tool right over here. But let's say you already have an instrument loaded up. We can go ahead and bring in Logic Smart Control and Keyboard and use this as a MIDI controller. You can go ahead and turn on Scale Mode and go ahead and play that out. And that is, of course, linked with whatever scale you got set under your tempo signature right here. Also, you can go ahead and click this back here and go into chord mode. So if you want to play quick chords. And you can go ahead and play chords out that way. You can record it right into a live loop slot as well. Uh, also, you got live loops window. If you're using live loops, you have to use this Logic Remote app. It's so much fun to control the loops. You also have the mixer window right here, as I showed you at the top of the video. And within the mixer window, you can go ahead and see your volume tracks, your send tracks, your audio effects, your IO, and your MIDI effects as well. And within the IO, you can see all of your uh, effect plugins on there. And if we click a plugin, you can go ahead and adjust the parameters just like that. You can also go ahead and on some plugins, you have a visual reference as well as the plugin. And you can go ahead and adjust that in real time. You can mix that way. You can go ahead and bypass each one. And if we go back, we can just click that back. We can go ahead and add in another plugin. So let's say we want to just tap here. We can choose what plugin. It doesn't have to be built in Logic plugins. It can be third party plugins as well. So we can go to audio units. And we can choose, let's say, this plugin right here, Super VHS. And then we can manipulate that sound as well. So just a fun way to mix and control your mixes. If you just want to have Logic on your desk, you can go ahead and just put down your key commands here. And it's just a window of a bunch of key commands that you can quickly tap as you're in a recording session or mixing session, whatever it may be. This is one way in which I use it as well. 
Uh, I know a lot of keyboard shortcuts, but this is sort of saves you some time as well. And you have a few pages of those and you can go ahead and modify those and edit them as you like. Overall, the Logic Remote app is just a tool so that you can control Logic. If you do have an iPhone or iPad, definitely go over to the App Store download the uh the logic remote app it is a free app and it, it is controlled wirelessly and um, it just makes the experience with logic a whole lot better all right so before we go i'm just gonna give you my top things that i like about the logic remote app and what you should check out one of them being is the scale mode right over here it keeps your your keys locked into a certain scale so you're never playing a wrong note that sort of ties with the chord strip if you want to play chords this is definitely an easy and fun way to as well but let's say you're working with a guitar you can go ahead and uh or sorry a guitar plugin automatically a guitar plugin will pop up and you can actually strum those notes as if it was a real guitar really really cool uh love the mixer feature that i can go ahead and uh, mix my tracks just like that if you have an ipad pro the 12.9 inch version you see a lot of real estate you see a lot of tracks in the window at once live loops definitely is a must if you're working with that a lot of tactile control right on the screen and of course the remix effect plugin so much fun to work with that's the logic remote app in a nutshell be sure to go download that in the app store if you do have any questions on this we can go ahead and talk in the comment section below and as usual, guys, if you did like this video, remember thumbs up and share it. We'll see you in the next video. Later. Peace.